Hey, my name is Lauren Harkins. I am a tour guide here at Eastern State Penitentiary. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the space and the history behind these walls. Eastern State Penitentiary opened in 1829 as the world's first penitentiary, and it was looked at all over the world as this revolutionary space for reform, and this reform through this complete solitary confinement. In the beginning, people were mainly sent here only for horse thievery, other livestock thievery, and other petty crimes, mainly nonviolent criminals. But by the end of the 1800s, they were overcrowding so much that they had to start bunking some inmates up together, letting some inmates out for exercise and, rec and um, working. And by the turn of the 20th century, they were really working as a congregate system. And by 1913, the state made it official, no more solitary system. And that is when you have a huge change at Eastern State. You have more than twice the amount of inmates that were ever intended to be in this space. You wind up getting more than twice the amount of cell blocks that were supposed to be in the space as well. Originally, there was only uh, seven cell blocks. By the end of Eastern State's history, there were 15 cell blocks. So the walls at Eastern State are very uh, psychologically and physically huge. They're actually 30 feet from the ground up, go completely around the 10 acres of space. There's only one opening in the entire prison from the beginning and still to this day. And the walls actually extend 10 feet under as well. So it is a very secure space. Yet there are over a hundred escapes here, including over the wall, the 30 foot walls, under, tunneling under that 10 feet of wall that goes under um, the ground, and also through the door as well. So among uh, the more famous criminals that have been here at Eastern State, Al Capone uh, ranks probably as the highest. Now he was only here for eight months, um, but when he was here, he had a pretty luxurious time. He was held on what we call, and what the administration and guards called Park Avenue because it was not actually in a cell block. He was able to have a nice desk, some paintings, even a record player with waltzes because he very much loved waltzes. So here at Eastern State, we have a lot of great programming to talk about the history of the space, the history of corrections and current corrections today. And these include from our main season is from March, middle of March until the end of November. A good portion of the space is open, many cell blocks, a lot of the outside you can walk through by yourself. We also have these five minute tours, a lot of which take you into spaces that aren't normally open to the public, but you saw today in this video, like the operating room or the underground punishment cells. We have a lot of other really great ones as well. We also do hour long guided tours um, that you get to go throughout the entire space and really learn, get the whole history of Eastern State from beginning to end. So we are open actually every day throughout the season from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The only exceptions to that rule are Thanksgiving, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day. Every other day uh, you can come check us out. Rain or sunshine, um, we are here. We always have a guided tour at 2 p.m., but additional ones are added. So please feel free to check our website for that or any special events throughout the year. It is easternstate.org. You can also give us a call with any questions at 215-236-5111. So thanks for watching this segment about Eastern State Penitentiary. We really hope it inspired you to come check out our space and what we're about, and maybe I'll even be able to give you a tour.